I I remember I struggled uh, quite a while uh, that my runners look uh, very grey. Um, I want always like vibrant colors, like here in this picture, for example, or here some uh, other pictures. And then, uh, so I thought about it, and um, I think there are a few effects that might affect it. So here we have seen, you see very uh, bright uh, blue over here. Uh, but if you go to the random preview and you look a bit uh, closer to this, this looks almost uh, gray. And that is because I'm shining a red light on it. So uh, I think this, this light, uh, oh no, uh, where is it? Uh, yeah. I think this light over here, uh, that's right. So if you combine, you see here a uh, blue, and then on the other side is red. I'm going to make it even more grease somewhere. Uh, so if you use the wrong combination um, with material and light colors, then it can look uh, grease. So maybe that's uh, handy to realize. And um, if uh, uh, same with uh, gradients, so I'm back here on material preview. I have here a material that is a gradient on um, one side is uh, green and on the other side purple. But look, if you look in the middle, uh, uh, that almost looks like uh, gray. And if you have two cubes like that. And I show you the effect of blur. So I press zero, look through the camera, and if we run on this out right now, then what I did was um, if I go to compositing, you see a blur over here, I expected to see some gray scar for some reason. I don't see it right now. But I know that with um, a blur, you can look sometimes also grease. And of course, if you are going to use uh, fog, let me see if we can add uh, fog. Yeah, if you have a runner, for example, like that. So if you have a lot of um, smoke, of course, it will also contribute to the um, to the grease uh, look. So what I mean is um, if you play with uh, the colors of the materials, colors of the light, uh, blur will uh, help to make it look uh, grease. Um, and also uh, fog if you use uh, fog. And in, if you have a filmic, we use a filmic. Uh, the higher you put the exposure, the more desaturated than it will be. In layman's terms, uh, set. Uh, what I do sometimes is, um, if I have uh, something like that, a scene, and then I go to the, um, the color management. Where is that? So color management over here. And then I put uh, exposure a little bit, I will show you. So you have the scopes over here. Ah, that's a bad example a little bit, but um, yeah, you see, if you bump this all the way up, then it's uh, desaturated, right? So I, I move this uh, lo lo from low to high and check here what happens here. You see how the values are squeezing a bit. So when I'm uh, around uh, here, around uh, this, then at that moment, uh, the values are going to uh, squeeze. What I do sometimes, uh, often I go a little bit uh, darker or lower than that I want. And then I run this out and then I load it in like uh, VSE and then I bump up the exposure a bit. Well, not really. Yeah, exposure. So I bump up the exposure a bit, but mind that it is not filmic anymore in most cases. It is default. And it looks quite ugly if you bump up too far. So let's go over here. You see what happens uh, over here. You see there's uh, coloration, etc. And uh, strange uh, things uh, happen. So that's because the standard uh, view, view transform, yeah, it starts to clip around this value. You see that uh, over here. You see? 
So it's go it's over going over the one. So it's not squeezing, but it's clipping. It's clipping like that. So, and you see um you recognize quite ugly highlights if you use default uh, view. All right, so yeah, maybe that uh, helps in getting more vibrant uh, colors. Oh, the next one is, uh, then I want to show you, I missed the reflection probe actually, All right? I'll have to check what happens with the videos. All right, see you in the next video.